Oh boy, I need some clothes. Whoa, hold on. What do you think you're doing? Come on, man. You can't go out looking like that. You look terrible. You need something new. What? I thought I looked good. Has this ever happened to you? Well, no longer with retro gaming wear. Retro Gaming Wear is the best company to go for if you're trying to get some retro clothing on your favorite vintage consoles. Oh, but it doesn't stop just there. Well, do you also want some clothing on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Sega Genesis? They got you covered. Now the Dreamcast? That's cool. I got this N64 shirt. Look at that. And remember, use code DEADRARE to get 10% off. Link and more information in the description below. All right, so uh, welcome to the first episode of Dead Talks. Sure, talk about why uh, Jason X is actually a g a good movie. So, uh, uh, well, I figured the uh, best way to probably talk about this would be to uh, well actually get the man himself. So why don't you? Don't be shy. Yeah! Yeah, I figured the best way to talk about it would... Man, you're fucking massive. I figured the best way to talk about this would be to, you know, actually get him. So, uh... What was it like, actually, you know... Filming Jason X? Did you like it? Alright, good, good. So, uh, I wanted to go over some, uh, things. So, what did you, uh, oh, okay, Jason, you're a little request. Alright, so what did you, uh, think of when they, uh, told you that your next week was, was that you're going to space? Yeah, yeah. Shit. Did you like the whole part of it on that, you know, it takes place, like, 400 years in the future? You thought that was... Was that like a shock? Yeah. Yeah. So, let's talk about the beginning of the movie. So, in the beginning of the movie, it's you, you know, chasing down some people. You, you looked pretty cool in, in the uh, beginning. You had hair in the beginning of that movie. Like, you had full-on hair, which is weird. I It's weird seeing you with hair. Um, also, you you brought these with you. Um, I didn't know that you were a drinker. When you got frozen, just out of absolutely nowhere, was that like kind of did that like piss you off? Because you were frozen for like four hundred fucking years. That's a long time. Oh, you were really pissed, huh? Yeah, four hundred years you were frozen. Yeah, I, w I would be, I'd be pretty pissed too. And then they, uh, those scientists, they take you. Not only do they take you, but they were like trying to sell you. You know, they, they, they saw you as like a pawn. Like you were like, like they were trying to market you. You wanted to kill them? Yeah, yeah. Which you, you eventually did. Uh, he was trying to bribe you, that, that a guy was trying to sell you, he, he was trying to bribe you, he was saying on that, uh, what was it, uh, he was trying to give you, like, like, your machete or something? Dude was a total asshole. I hated that fucking guy. Happy him that you killed him. Uh, so, you know, uh, you, uh, eventually get, yep, you eventually get taken onto, onto the, uh, yep, you eventually get taken onto the ship, and, uh, you start to de-thaw. Now, what was your first thoughts when you literally just wake up out of nowhere? The last thing you knew was you're being frozen. Now you're in a spaceship. What was that like? You were pissed. You weren't even. You weren't even home. You weren't even on Earth. You were just there. No, no uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Nope. No Camp Blood. No yachts. No New York. Nothing. No sewers. Nope. You were just, you were just in space. So when you finally dethought and you saw that girl, 
and you saw that thing of liquid nitrogen, you knew what to do. You, you did that with no temptation. Yeah, yeah. Everybody loved that. Everybody loved that. That was awesome. You literally grab the fucking girl. You dunk her head into liquid nitrogen. And you smash the shit out of it. I would ask you for a high five, but your hand is not only quadruple the size, but I feel like I'm that you would literally turn it into sawdust, so... I'm gonna pass on that. Uh... Oh. You're offering. Uh... Alright. What did you think about that android? KM? Did you think she was cool? Or... Oh, you hated her? Yeah, she, uh, she, dude, she fucking destroyed you. You got your ass handed to you. I'm sorry, but you fucking lost. You, like, sucked. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> um, no, you're great, actually. You, oh, no, you're great, man. No, you did absolutely fantastic. She did not whoop your ass at all. She did not make you look like a little bitch. Uh, uh, <laughs> cut the commercial. Okay, uh, I think we've uh, calmed him down. So let's talk about when you were actually turned into Uber Jason. So after she, uh, you know, kills you, you land on to the uh, nanotechnology. You get turned into this fucking badass. I mean, not only do you look cool as hell, all of those fucking shots and that she, uh, you know, took, like, well, shot you, you, you literally, you, you were like a fucking wall. I, I, I mean, like, someone could probably throw a fucking, you know, bulldozer into you and you would act like I'm mean, you got slapped by a, like, you would act like you got slapped by, like, a fucking feather. So, that was cool as hell. You beat the shit out of her, you you punch her head off. Uh, and then the guy takes her head? Which was... Weird? Later, uh, pretty much after that, they try to get to the, the, through the, uh, escape pod. Ugh, man, that entire, like, ending scene is just so... I don't know, it's weird, I mean... The, uh, girl gets sucked through the vent. Um, you literally, like, I don't, I don't remember, you, like, cut open, like, the, like, like, escape pod or something. And then, uh, that dude who, um, I, I think you impaled him, he comes back, he has, like, the red suit. And then he sends you, like, a fucking shooting star. So much like a shooting star that you land on Earth 2 and people thought that you were one. Uh, the ending was pretty interesting, like the actual final shot because, uh, it's just your mask in the water. I mean, you're fucking Jason Voorhees, but at the same time, how the hell do you survive, like, crash landing onto a planet? I mean, you're here. Uh, there was that virtual place that was kind of cool where you kill the uh, virtual monster uh you you literally screw a guy no homo but you literally screw a guy he goes down on, on the spiral you get sent into vr and uh well there's some virtual bitches you ain't no simp kill the fuck out of them and you just <laughs> And you just, uh, well, you, uh, did a double sleeping bag kill. That was cool. You did a fucking double sleeping bag kill. You got both of them. And it was like, what, like 30 seconds of you just hitting them? You just smashing them, no homo? You kill a lot of people, uh, not just in Jason X, but you kill a lot of people who, uh, who are just having sex. Are you, like, do you, like, just not, like... No? You like, uh, do you, believe, do, you, do you believe in, like, no sexual marriage? Uh, you're religious. No? You just, you just don't, you're in, you're really interesting, you know? You, wait, so, you, wait, so you don't believe in that? Oh! So, you just really like to target 
people that just... So you're just an asshole. <laughs> After that movie came out, pretty much everybody, you know, kind of hated it. What, what do you think about the movie? Do, do, do you think it? Do you think your performance was bad? Do you just think the movie overall was bad? I mean, what, 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 do, what do you think? Do you think? Do you think you were good? Oh, you did it for money. A lot of money. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, J Jason's gone. I guess in in conclusion. Oh, ah. Uh. In conclusion, the movie is great. It's a fantastic movie. I think everybody should change their opinion on it, and I also think that everybody should go watch the movie on any streaming services right away. I think that every single person on this planet should give the movie a max rating on Amazon, uh, uh, YouTube, and everything else available. Uh, the, the, this was, uh, this was Dead Rare on Dead Talk with Jason Voorhees. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Please don't fucking kill me. <laughs>